we knew that a question would come up about the share structure update. So here it is. Could you provide an update on what the status of the share structure update is? As of July, it was seemingly close to completion. I know that this has been brought up several times in the past, but there have been multiple self-created timelines for the completion of the SS update that have not been met due to various reasons. I think shareholders would appreciate if you would explain in a little more detail exactly where the SS update stands now and what are the last obstacles to completing the entire plan. All right, good. So we've got the SS reduced down to close to a billion shares. That's where it is right now. The conversion of next shares from common to preference is almost completed. There's also some other conversions taking place along the same lines. So many will have also seen that the court action is underway for the cancellation of the 40 million shares. We couldn't find that company anywhere, despite even having appointed a private investigator to do so. Uh, the recent news you would have seen is that the court granted us approval to advertise and try to locate that company in the area where they are supposed to exist. So we're just going through that formality. Uh, we know that those 40 million shares will be cancelled. Uh, the main point, I guess, is that they're not going to be converted and they're not going to be sold. So I'm not sure why people are so worried about them, and they certainly don't need to be. And no, we're not going to wait for those 40 million shares before we update the SS either. Uh, there's just some other actions which are underway where our attorneys are working to bring that SS perhaps down to right on a million or even a little bit under. And part of the whole delay relates to that GPL saga. We mentioned it in a previous video, in a previous letter. And, and that is what originally delayed, delayed us from that time frame where we communicated a week and then possibly another week. And I know that that's incredibly frustrating for people as it is with us. No one could have foreseen that GPL saga or GPL issue taking place. And that's really what's been the cause of delays uh, for quite some time. And as I said, it's going to be reduced to in the region of a billion shares and we'll continue to, you know, to cleanse it, so to speak, and, and get it get it down below. And then, you know, once we're satisfied, uh, we'll obviously release that SS update. But I guess that links into the question above, because when our share price was going up, everyone was very positive. We didn't hear much about that SS update. And, uh, you know, at the moment, there's, there's a couple of red days. All we hear is, is that whole SS update thing again. It's not that it's not important to us. We're busy with it. We've got attorneys working on it full time. You know, it is important, but it's nowhere near as important as the fundamentals of our business, the growth that we're delivering and all the other results that we're achieving and will continue to achieve. There's a lot of people that will regret having sold their shares back when it was done at three or four cents, right? The same will, will, will happen. And this process will continue to repeat itself because there will always be people with that short-term mentality. There will always be those retail investors that want really short-term gains. And those short-term gains will never be uh, anywhere near what those long-term gains will be. It's just, it's just the way uh, our business is headed. If, if the share price, as I always say, has got anything to do with the real value of our company in terms of what we're actually delivering, then, uh, then it will continue to, to go up and go up and go up. Okay, I hope that gives some clarity on that question. I love when we get a direct question. Is it likely ILS closes on the Florida acquisition and the astronomical European acquisition before the end of Q4? Very direct. Florida, yes. Other acquisitions, yes. Uh, the European deal is a difficult one to answer. I can say that there'll be two phases to the European deal. It's a obviously a huge deal. There's a lot of politicians involved and that's that's why it takes time and that's why Nick has, has been over there so many times, why he's over there right now uh, with actually a whole team of people. Uh, it's not just him. The company we're taking over manufactures fire vehicles and military vehicles and that's important to note because that means that we're dealing with multiple government departments, the Ministry of Defense, the Ministry of Finance. There's also state, state secrets involved and Obviously, that will amount to some delays, not delays, but just the whole process takes time. There's just so many working parts involved in the deal. Uh, there's over 1,500 staff on the current payroll. And that acquisition is so large that, that the, the actual manufacturing facility sustains an entire European town. 
So yeah, as I said, two phases, there'll be an interim part to the deal, which we should be able to announce somewhere in November. And that will involve our ear up to manufacturing and the manufacturing of some of our current firefighting vehicles. The larger portion of the deal, not that the first part of it is gonna be small by any means, but the larger portion of the deal will take a bit longer. Bear in mind, you know, all those working parts that I've already mentioned. So that's second part of it, probably timeframes. I mean, it'll, it'll be early next year, uh, the, second, the second part of the deal. The, just also to mention, this acquisition is not the nine figure revenue acquisition that we've mentioned previously. Um, so that's important. It's also not linked to Mulk Holdings or, or anything like that, because there's been some speculation about that. That's a separate uh, deal that's going on. And it's why, one of the reasons why we talk about we're working on multiple large deals. The EU deal is just one. And um, yeah, I think that's pretty much all I can, can say on that one. Thank you. I think it helps to understand that the two phases just to give people uh, extra information as to why that's not that's not completed yet 